Hi. With this section, we are able to add validation rules to our items. Also able to add authorization for specific users to use the store manager control. In this section, we will add this, the shopping cart controller for users to add to, it, to their carts and to remove from their carts specific items. They will be able to add remove as guests. They will eventually need to register or log in as they check out. So let's start and go ahead by adding a cart class to our models here. Right click on models, add class, name the class cart, and click add. Now let's go ahead and add it. Here is how our card class looks like. With the exception for the key attribute, this class looks similar to most classes we have created so far. Here is how our card class looks like. With the exception for the key attribute, this class looks similar to most of the classes we have created so far. Our items will have a string identifier named cart ID, which will allow the user to anonymously shop. But the table includes an integer primary key named record ID. Next, we will add an order class. So, right click on models, add and class, and name it here to be order. Add it. Now, here is how our order class looks like. The order class tracks summary and delivery information for order. As you, see, as you can see here, there is an order zero, there is a red. So, let's add a class. Named order detail. Details. Let me just make sure it's right. It's detail. Now here is our order detail class. It has the uh, order ID, item ID, and the quantity and the price for all the items that we have chosen. Next, we will make one last update to our shopping store entities class, including DB search, which exposes those new model classes. So go ahead and go to our shopping store entities and add the new classes here. Topic. Now let's create a shopping cart class in the model folder. So click right click on a models, add and then class, and name it shopping cart. Now our shopping cart model handles data access to the cart table. Additionally, it will handle a business logic for adding and removing items from shopping cart. If we don't require user to sign up for an account, items to their shopping cart, we will assign users temporary unique identifier. The access the shopping cart, we will store this ID using ASP.NET session class. So let's start by adding some stuff that we would need to build this shopping cart class. So here let's add a shopping cart entity.
now let's add, uh, let's add a Now let's add an add to cart method. So public static So the add to cart takes an item as a parameter from the user doesn't exist cart we add this item to the cart and if it does exist just increment it by one and then save it to the database let's add a remove from cart uh, method so here now for our remove from cart method it would check for the item count and if it's more than one it would decrement it if it's if it's one it would just remove it from our database from our cart and then save changes now we will add an empty cart to empty our cart now for our empty cart it will just loop uh, our items Move single one then save uh, the changes now also we have a uh, get cart items to get the items in our cart now we have a select query to get from our database and some the count of all the items that we have in our cart. We can use this to display to the user the items in the cart or to make some processing on it. And we also added a get total method. This method uh, we use it to the price for each item, then sum the price for all the items in our cart. Now we also have a create order that takes an order as a parameter, trace over all the items in our cart take their details and then add the price for each of them in the order total it stores them in the order uh, in the store database and then save the changes and then empty the cart for the user who is using the cart now we also added a get cart id method that uses http context space which allows access to cookies we have a global identifier for our temp cart id which we will send back to the user as a cookie. Now, finally, we added a migrate cart method that looks over all the items in the shopping cart associated with the user that when he logs in and then saves the changes. Now, our shopping cart controller will need to communicate some complex information to its views. It contains doesn't map to our model objects. Our shopping cart controller will need to communicate some complex information to its views, which doesn't map cleanly to our model objects. We don't want to modify our model to suit our views, as our model classes should represent our domain, not the user interface. One solution would be to pass information to our views using the viewback class, as we did this with the store manager dropdown information. But passing a lot of information via view bag gets hard to manage. Now, solution to this is to add a view model banner, view model folder, which which represents a view model banner. When using this banner, we create a strongly typed class that are optimized for our specific view scenarios. So let's go ahead and in our here, let's add a new folder, and we will call it view models now we will add a shopping cart view model and we will add the following properties Cart total, cart count, item count, and delete the ID. Next, we will add a shopping cart controller. Shopping cart controller will have three purposes: adding items to our cart, removing items from our cart, and showing items in our cart. It would make use of these three classes that we have just created: the shopping cart remove mo view model and shopping cart view model and shopping cart classes. It also have the store entities 
field. Now for our index method here, we uh, set up uh, the view for our view models, cart items and cart total. And for our add to cart, we get the ID for the item. We add it to the database here. We redirect back to the index for the user to choose some other uh, item. From remove from cart, we get the ID for the uh, item that he chose and remove it and get its name from uh, this database and then remove it based on its uh, ID and show this message to confirm with the user uh, the uh, removing process and card summary to show the user the uh, summary for the his, his card. After we build it, let's add a shopping cart view model. Now, after we build it, let's add a shopping cart index or shopping cart controller. Here type in index it to be empty. Let's use our model now. Now, as we have added the index page for our shopping cart view model, it uh, does four things. Removes uh, the deleted album from the list, updates the cart uh, count in the header, displays an updated message to the user, and updates the total price uh, in the cart. Now, in order to test this out, we need to be able to add items to our shopping cart. We will update our store details uh, page. So let's go to our store page here. Yeah. And include an add to cart button. And also, we'll add some additional information we have, uh, we have added since the last update. Now, we also added some additional information like category and producer and price. Uh, also, as you can see, we added the add to cart button. Now let's say build all of this and go to our store index here. And let's run our application. Now I almost forgot, but you actually have to update the database from the package uh, manager console. So go into the uh, uh, Nugget, Nugget Package Manager and get the Package Manager console and in it uh, just uh, create, just update the database and then run the application. So as I run, run the, run the application um, and click electronics, speaker. As you can see here is your item. And we have an add to cart button here. We can click add to cart. And as you can see, we haven't yet uh, registered or logged in. So now we can go back to our um, store and no store and add something like from furniture. We don't have anything in furniture or just electronics. So okay, get into lamp and also add this to our cart. So as you can see here, we have uh, two uh, items: a speaker and a lamp. And it added both of them to the total of our in, uh, in our cart total. And by now we have built a working shopping cart which allows unregistered users to add items to their cart. In the following section, we will allow them to register and complete the checkout process. So I hope you guys enjoyed and learned, and see you next section.